Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is October favorites. I'm about to go to dinner right now and I'm sure my husband is gonna come in here any second and ask me why we haven't left yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started super quick. So my first favorite is Max Give Me Sun. I'm sure you've heard people talk about this already a bunch and I'm sure you've seen it, but that is what it looks like. It's just a really pretty golden sun color. I thought about getting this product for, I don't know, at least a year and I just resisted because I figured it was one of those products like kind of been there, done that old product, but I was at MAC um, like three weeks ago, I guess. I was like, let me just go ahead and get it. Everybody seems to still be using it. Let me see what all the hype is about. And I really, really like it. It's just a great kind of golden sun color. And I don't like to tan my face, but my body is pretty tan. And I found that this bronzer does really gives like a nice sun-kissed look to your face. And I've been really liking using it with this MAC 135 brush. And this brush is really unique that, you know, it has this like long tapered head. It's almost like their... Um, I think it's the 242 brush, but just like a huge version, like the way that it's cut, but it's enormous. But this brush is really great if you're in a hurry, you can get a contour effect out of it by going like this on your face. So you can give yourself a little bit of a contour without going with just the bronzer, without going in with an extra product. And then of course, because it's shaped like this, if you wanted to put a contour powder on, then you could really carve out your cheekbones doing it like that. But this big, huge flat side is just so great for just putting the bronzer on like that. And then, like I said, you can really get like a nice contoured effect. This brush, however, was incredibly expensive. I bought this brush when I was like having some retail therapy. And I don't think if I had asked how much it was, I don't think that I would have bought it. So I'm kind of glad I didn't ask and it was, it was a retail therapy day because this brush is $42. But Morphe makes a brush, and I think it's the M500. I heard somebody else talking about it. I do not have that brush, but I did hear, I think it was Kathleen Lights in one of her um, dupes videos. She said that brush is the same as this one, and I looked it up online, and I think it is $20. So if you don't want to spend the $42, I would definitely get the Morphe brush. I have a lot of other Morphe brushes, and they're really great quality. And uh, I would definitely give that one a whirl if you don't want to invest the $42, which I think is really expensive for a brush. If I had asked how much it was before I bought it, I wouldn't have spent $42 on it. But I'm glad that I have it now. My second favorite is this Marc Jacobs Mirage Filter Duo. And I especially, this contour shade is really great, but I especially like it for this banana shade. And I like the banana shade. You can put it underneath your eyes and it'll brighten up your eyes. But what I usually use it for, and I just use it with this little e.l.f. blush brush, but because this e.l.f. blush brush is kind of like cut like this, you can put the um, banana powder on. And then if you get like a little crazy with your um, bronzer or your contour, you can carve it out with this banana powder with like the way that this little brush is shaped because it's small and you can really carve out your bronzer or your or your contour if you get a little messy with it or if you just want like a sharper line this banana powder is great for that and it's so finely milled I mean it's a great um, great quality product it is pricey but you do get a lot of product in here and this contour shade is really nice also it's not like a dirty shade or anything like that. And I've contoured that with this quite a bit. So you get, you know, two usable shades in here for the price. And you do get a lot of product. This is a huge pan. This is like, even if you're into banana powder and contour powder, this is going to last you a very long time. And I think, you know, for things that are pricey, contouring and banana powders, you want them to be like really finely milled and go on really nicely because they're kind of like finishing touch type products. So that would be a good thing to splurge on, especially the contour powder. I mean, you can get really crazy looking contour if you don't have either the right application or the right product or whatever. So I think that's a good little splurge item. My next favorite is a lip combination. I've been loving this MAC Strip Down Lip Liner. It's just a really nice nude color, but it's like a darky, darker, like mauve nude. And that's what it looks like right there. And I really like mauve colored um, lips and lip glosses. And then I've been loving this half and half lipstick by MAC. And that's it right there. And this is an amplified lipstick. 
And then on top of it, I'll put the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Buttercream Lip Gloss on top of it. And that's what I have on today is the combination of these three. So I'll put those on. I think I've talked about this before in a favorites video. I love it so much. But this combination of these three is just a great nude lip. And I love the amplified um, lipsticks from MAC. They last a really long time. And for a nude lipstick, if you know, I want it to actually have color when it's a nude lipstick. I don't want it to be super sheer. And so the combination of this strip down and this half and half and then really any lip gloss that you want to put on top of it or don't put a lip gloss on top of it at all but of course i'm obsessed with this one so i can't stay away and then my last favorite is like a set of favorites this is what i've been using all month i've been using the kendra platinum blow dry mist and this is the ultra lightweight thermal protection and I have really fine hair. They have one for regular hair. But if you have really fine hair, as, as my daughter uses I had to give it to my daughter because it was way too heavy for my hair. But she really liked it. But if you have fine hair, this one is really, really nice. And it's such a fine mist. It does detangle, which I was worried about. But it does detangle. And then it's a thermal heat, prote heat protectant. And it makes your blow drying process go faster. And so I really, really like that. You don't have to use too many sprays. I use like four sprays right here, a couple in the back, not too heavy, enough detangling action. And then I really do find that it helps the time for how long you're blow drying your hair go down. And so I've been using that. And then after I spray that in my hair, before I blow dry it, I have been spraying the Biolage Volume Bloom Full List Volumizer Spray and it's in this blue container. This is a huge container. But I just spray this all on my roots, like all throughout my hair, and then I just brush it gently through. And I've really liked this product. It's been giving me a lot of volume, and I've been using it with the Vi Biolage Volume Bloom shampoo and conditioner. So it's the whole Volume Bloom set. But Biolage, of course, smells delicious, but it's really um, hard for me to find shampoo and conditioner and bonifying products that are for my hair type for fine hair that actually give you body and then I live in Florida so anything that you know you would think would work if you live in a climate where it's humid it's near impossible to find a product that will work because you're fighting against the humidity of the weather and I've really been liking this one it really has worked so if you lived in a climate that wasn't super humid like Florida I bet it is the most awesome products so that's all the favorites I have for this month. It's very short and sweet for this month. I didn't really buy much last month. I was trying to be good, but then I got the 20% off at Ulta and I bought some stuff online last night. And then I got the 20% off coupon for Sephora, which starts in a couple days. So I have a little list for things that I'm gonna get from Sephora. So I think next month I'm gonna have a lot more favorites to talk about with all the things that I bought with my 20% off coupons. So keep a watch out for that. That is it for this video. I hope you liked it even though it was short and sweet. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. And all the information for all the products that I talked about is in the description box along with all the links to all my social media, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat, and my Facebook. So be sure to check that out and I will see you in my next video. Bye. And you just want to put it Focus it underneath the arch is where you want the main product to go. So put your brush down there first.